I don't know what I would say to Allah. Have you ever bent your knees, Malcolm? Yes, when I was, uh, when I was picking a lock to rob someone's house. Tell Allah that. You can grovel and crawl for sin, but not to save your soul. Pick the lock, Malcolm. Pick it. I want to. God knows I want to. I received a letter that day from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The dear holy apostle wrote to me, a nobody, a, a, a junkie, a pimp, and a convict. I have come to give you something which can never be taken away from you. I bring to you a sense of your own worth. The worth of one human being, the knowledge of self. It was like a blinding light, and I became aware that he was in the room with me. He wore a dark suit, and on his face I saw a wisdom and pain so old and deep that I could scarcely look at him. But I knew I wasn't dreaming. He was right there with me. I tell you, the most dangerous creation in the world, in any society, is the man with nothing to lose. You do not need ten such men to change the world. One. We'll do. The earth belongs to us, the black man. And whatever is around it or on it or in it belongs to us. And then as suddenly as he came, he was gone. And then I could do it. We are taught that Paul on the road to Damascus heard the voice of Christ. He was so smitten by the truth that he fell from his horse. Now, I don't liken myself to Paul, but I do understand. You see, it happened to me.